Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we will be discussing about uh, creating a joystick like this one here. This is uh, this file is taken from my website from excelunusual.com. This is a chart uh, having a macro associated with it. The macro is called joystick. So if we click in the middle, we start the macro and the macro will monitor many times a second the coordinates of the cursor. It will update two cells in the worksheet, which will update the chart. And the chart will try to maintain this uh, big, big uh, navy dot under the cursor, giving you the illusion that actually the cursor captured this uh, head of the joystick. So this being said, let's uh, proceed. I already have an, a blank... Uh, Excel uh, workbook open. This is the new Excel 365. So first we go to, I went here to Google and I typed detect cursor position VBA and uh, you can go and click on any of these. So we need to copy this uh, first declaration, the declaration of a special function. The function is control C is called uh, get cursor pose, get cursor position. Okay, and um, we come here in developer visual basic. We need to open this into a module. So insert module, paste this. I already spent a little bit of time and I made a, a joystick many years ago. So this get cursor pose, get cursor position is a special function situated, located in the user32 library API application programming interface and can be accessed through VBA. The first word is arbitrary. That's why I replace this with some arbitrary text. The second word is the name of a variable and uh, you can put any kind of word you want, but make sure it's relevant. In this case, this variable, it describes a variable, is a variable in which the function will dump the xy position of the cursor. And another thing we need to declare, we need to define, right, is a structure. In order to define it, we, we, we write the word type. And, and we need to define this name here. So we put this name, we we wrote this name, we made up this name relevant to our application, detecting the XY coordinates of a cursor. So control wait. Control C. Okay. And it ends with end type. Okay. And inside this structure is like a collection. It can have various heterogeneous style data in it. So in our case, it has two values, the X value of the cursor, let's call it XX and define it as long, so long integer, integer, and YY, which is a Y coordinate, as long. We also need to declare a variable cc, which is of cursor xy type that will hold instantaneous values of the cursor coordinates. Dim, dim from dimension, cc as cursor xy. Since we will be using uh, an on off or a start pause macro, we need to define a Boolean variable a logic variable dim on off as boolean so these are all the declarations now we can put an apostrophe and write a long comment like this so we know these are just declarations so let's write a macro now that detects the position of the cursor inside this um, the screen. And I tell you from now on, the origin is right here in this corner. The X coordinate of the cursor is measured from this corner right here. You see northwest corner, upper left corner, towards right, so increases towards right. And the y, y position is determined from the same point, increases uh, going down. Let's write sub, let's give a name, let's say detect. Uh, absolute apps absolute coordinates and 
inside what we do we place a toggle statement so on let's copy from here okay copy this control V is equal to not don't forget if you watch the other tutorials before this we learn how to make an on off or a start pause button a toggle we need to toggle this and then create a do loop a do loop is written like this do it starts with the word do and it ends with the word loop okay if we want to make it uh, on off so with the toggle button we need to, to put a conditional here so do while on off is equal to true and what do we put in we write some statements at the end we definitely need to put do events okay and inside let's do this first let's retrieve the coordinates of the cursor every loop cycle this will run very fast is an infinite loop but it's a conditional infinite loop so if on off becomes false it stops so let's use this function let's copy the, the name of this function a special function control c to retrieve the value of the coordinates uh, we have the variable cc here that's how the syntax is cc okay i don't know why they make it like this but uh, that's the, that's the syntax so you put the name of the function and then the variable you want the function to dump in the output of these coordinates of the, of the cursor on the screen and then let's say cell b5 so b5 in square brackets let's print the x coordinate okay so it is equal to cc dot xx okay I'll show you why so cc is a cursor xy style variable so cursor xy is a collection having two elements xx the x coordinate and yy so ccxx means the x coordinate of this cursor xy and uh, then we can copy this and let's put this in cell c5 which is ccyy and i think we are ready to rock and roll we go here in the spreadsheet so we expect to see this in cell b5 c5 so let's call this uh, x or x coordinate and here uh, coordinate okay i don't like that name let's call it x uh, cursor and let's call this y cursor And insert a shape to create a button it takes a while let's call this on off and go to home and assign macro this is the only macro we have and let's see if it works okay you see that now the macro is running so if you look at the x coordinate and the y coordinate let me stop this let me center these because i like uh, i like to center the data sometimes not always if we go right here everything zero zero okay if we go here at this other corner so south east corner is uh, 1919 and uh, 1079 this is standard resolution nowadays 1920 pixels and 1080 but since we start with pixel 00, zero is uh, 1080 minus 1 1920 minus 1 and in the middle they vary if I take a chart let's say insert and um, chart let's move this up a little bit let's put here a zero zero and inside source data edit uh, so remove this add another series let's pick up the x information from here so let's say to from 4 to 34 so 30 elements and here 4 to 34 okay let's start the macro you see this is moving the problem is uh, right now the chart uh, has uh, automatic um, axis so if we go back and um, 
instead of the y coordinate let's put the minus y coordinate and let's make this from 0 to format axis and here this axis minimum is 0 and maximum is 1920 I believe so check this out now this follows my movement here is coordinate 0 0 0 you see and here it goes to the end of the chart we need to be at, uh, pay attention because if we want to have animation animation will never like objects will never pass this edge here so we need to write or this edge right here the cursor can go anywhere and you can have zero zero but for practical reason probably if you have a small picture you can only bring it right here you cannot bring it here we need to pay attention on this uh, to this in the future developments another thing i want to show you is if i go here to to this um, macro i want to introduce a short-term memory feature within the macro check this out i take a range okay let's say b6 c6 take a range from b6 to c36 okay this is the range b6 c36 and let's say this is equal let's copy this this range control c control v dot value this is a, a trick this is a big trick okay it's a very important and not many people know about this if we do this nothing will happen because you copy a range on itself but let's uh, have here 5 35 okay what happens in this case you copy look at me you copy this this the whole range one cell down okay here check this out okay you see so in uh, the range b6 to c36 we created a trailing history of our cursor movement or our mouse movement let's um, remove the zero from here and another thing we can do we can only plot this I mean do this movement for let's place a let's place a counter here okay so i is equal i plus one and we can plot it only every let's say fifth uh, ten okay ten loop so if i modulo ten ten is equal to zero so this is a process called decimation I plot the data only every tenth cycle then then plot it we saw before that if we plot this data every loop cycle the tail is too short the points are too dense and if check this out now let's put some space so it's, it's a little bit more intelligible I can even go every let's say 30 I stop the macro wait the macro is not stopped is it stopped yes it stopped and it's still blinking because of the screen recorder. So this being said, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to finish up this uh, and make a nice uh, joystick. Thanks for watching.